of the waffly goodness, introducing the Waff Pro 2001. <gasps> that monstrosity makes waffles? It also dispenses fortunes. You will eat woggles. I wonder what that means. I think it's trying to say waffles. Really? Woo! <laughs> See? It's the world's most advanced waffle bar in the world. Here, try them. Mmm, it is a very tasty waffle. Yeah, sure, that's great. But has anyone noticed this? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I dizzy? Huh, is that gonna be a problem? Attention, pollution patrol coming through. Clear the way. I'd know that enticing aroma anywhere. Jerseys? Everybody freeze! This is a waffle raid. Welcome to the Banana Cabana. Allow me to read your fortune. Enjoy wazzles? I don't get this thing. We're the Pollution Patrol, and you make me sick! <clears throat> wow, already? And I haven't even done this yet. All WAFPRO 2001s are being decommissioned for crimes against the environment. The WAFPROs are the worst polluters in the entire waffle industry. Even worse than the Waffle Widget 1980? Hey! Here, have a waffle. Even worse. Let's unplug this monstrosity. Wait, you can't shut it down. It's my best friend. <laughs> oh, another fortune. Take a whistle. Waffle. Sorry about your waffle bar, Howie. It was good at making waffles, not so great at spelling. It really was, wasn't it? <laughs> Ew. You know, Howie, I was thinking this is a perfect time to make some changes around here. You're firing me? Oh, please, oh, no, no! I promise to work harder. I know I goof off sometimes, but I... It was Bunny. I can't fire you. You're the boss, remember? Oh, in that case, I was just kidding about that working harder stuff. Here, take a look at this ad I saw today. Wait, you recorded an ad? <laughs> just watch. <sighs> oh, hello there. I'm Tree Frog, Eco Warrior and Table Tennis Champ. Is your hotel a putrid polluter? Yes. An environmental disaster? Most likely. Well, then it's time to make a change. <laughs> Answer my contest, and you could earn the coveted title of World's Greenest Hotel. <laughs> so, help make the world greener, and you could win a Fabulous prize! <laughs> so, you know, I was thinking, the Banana Cabana should go green. Way ahead of you, buddy. Oh. Howie, the contest is about the environment, not green paint. The environment, huh? I prefer me in Periwinkle. <laughs> you entered this dump in a going green contest? I know our hotel needs a few eco upgrades, so I started researching and did you know that every five minutes baby seals cut down 20 acres of rainforest? Everybody knows that. Wait, what? Ugh. So, I converted the pool into a giant compost heap. Compost! <laughs> Jerseys? Then, to help the environment, I swapped Bunny's jet boat with a turtle. Hang on for the ride of your life. And lastly, I turned our banana into a windmill. And a helicopter. Now, I also heard something about a pesky hole in the P-Zone laser. I think you mean the O-Zone layer. That too. Duck, can you help with that? I will find my patch kit. Great! Do you think you might be going just a bit overboard? 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 This hotel is just one big not green monster! <gasps> That's it! I now know what I must do. Should we call an ambulance? I have them on speed dial. 
Welcome to the Green Banana. You built a new hotel? I figured why fix the cabana when I could just build a brand new, completely green one. Maui, why are you wearing a loincloth? Oh, this natural ventilation. <laughs> it's windy up here. All right, time for a tour. First up, our solar-powered tree ampeline. Solar-powered? But trampolines don't need power. <laughs> you were saying? And next up, our tree-hugging platform. <sighs> hey, this platform is for tree-hugging. Hugging. And since cows chewed out a ton of gas every day, which is highly flammable, I figured Piggy could use it for cooking in his kitchen hut. What? Pardon me. As you can see, it's 100% natural. <laughs> We're still getting some of the bugs worked out. Duck, we've got a bit of a problem in the kitchen hut. Duck, where is he anyway? Ozone one, cleared for lunch. Thank you. You are welcome. Anyone else feel that? Yes, Bunny. It's called the power of positive thinking. And that's the winds of change. Better than the winds of cows. And this is my favorite part of the whole place, the Vine Highway. Whoa. Hey. This isn't as hard as it looks. You might want to slow down, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. license in vegetation, please. And now, I will save the environment. Luckily, they had your size. That is a wee. Guys, I think going green was the best decision we ever made. We're going to win Tree Frog's contest for sure. And we're saving the planet. <sighs> and not a single thing has gone wrong. Night! Night! Good morning, Piggy. Where are you off to? Piggy have to find berries for breakfast. Set stop thinking for a kitchen! Now you're thinking green. Howie, the guests are complaining that the poison ivy lawn chairs are giving them rashes. I was sitting on one all morning and I feel fine. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and Howie, baby, my mic's still off. Not sure why. Oh, wait. Maybe it's because it's a stick. Okay. It's a brand new hotel. There's bound to be a few kinks. Howie, we have termites. Great, new guests. Howie, termites eat trees. We have tons of trees. They'll probably really like the place. Everything is going to be just fine. Thanks for the hospitality, Howie. I won't have to eat for a week. <laughs> but hotel, tree frog, contest. Winds of change! Fabulous prizes! <laughs> Howie! I'm Tree Frog, Eco Warrior, and Table Tennis Champ. Now, where's this green banana I've heard so much about? I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Bad news? It's like they always say. Just when you're about to save the world, somebody goes and eats your hotel. Well, without actually being able to see the work you did, I can't really judge the... In Hi. The ozone layer is fixed. Time for my coffee break. Wait, did I hear that correctly? You fixed the hole in the ozone layer? I guess so. Yes! I can't believe it! This is stupendous! Really? Did we win? Did we win? Howie, you run the greenest hotel I have never seen! Congratulations! What do I get? I mean, we get. You're the proud owners of the brand new Woff Pro 2002! I thought those things were huge polluters! Not anymore! Our eco waffle experts made some little changes. Now all the smoke and sludge is completely recycled. 
<laughs> Delicious, but does it still give fortunes? <gasps> Yay! Look out. What kind of fortune is that? Is that a... <gasps> and we got our banana back. Yay! Today just keeps getting better and better. It <laughs> sure does. I'm sure gonna miss you, Howie. Aw, I'm gonna miss you too, buddy. Are you sure you can't just spend your vacation at the Banana Cabana like you did last year? I'd love to, but last year I couldn't get any relaxing done. Everyone kept bugging me with managerial stuff. Howie, sign this. Howie, you forgot to pay the electricity bill. Howie, you set hotel on fire. One night, I only managed to get 13 hours of sleep. 13! Must have been so hard on you. This time, I want to make sure that I enjoy my vacation. And I think I've figured out the perfect way to do it. Um, can I borrow your suitcase? Well, this is it, guys. This is the last you'll be seeing of me for a week. I'll be miles away at a very different hotel. Howie, how do we reach you if we need something? What's the number of the hotel you're staying at? Oh, uh, the number is 555-015-755559575572. Two. And what's the address? Bye, guys! <laughs> well, hello, my lady. Lady? What? I'm Moose, and I'm here to check into your fine hotel. Wait a second. There's something very familiar about you. Oh, uh, you must have seen me on the cover of that Moose magazine. Which one? I subscribe to several Moose-themed publications. Moose Monthly, Moose Mayhem Mag, Mighty Moose Caboose. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it was Moose on the Loose. Oh, wow, it's an honor to have a real life cover moose staying here. I'm giving you our best room. Wow, this is gonna be the best vacation ever. You're lucky. The family of bedbugs just checked out. Fluffiest pillows I've ever had. Hold up, kids. <laughs> Hey ho, get a load of them antlers. Hey, Moosey, you're a giant moose, blocking everybody's vision of me. Get out of here, put down your popcorn and go. Whip, whap, whibbity, wow. This is great. I should have thought of being an undercover guest ages ago. Now it's time to kick back and shut the old brain off. Hi there, my name's Carl. What's yours? Uh, moose. Fantastic. I tell you, it's great to have another moose here. Right, that's me, a regular old moose. Are you here on vacation too? One moose to another? I'm here for revenge. Revenge? What do you mean? I mean revenge on that good-for-nothing manager, Howie. What? Why would anyone ever want revenge on a wonderful, innocent, lovable dog like him? It all started when I stayed here three years ago. I was minding my own business when out of nowhere. I say, old bean, you look ripe for a proper shaming. Ha <laughs> How joyously frolics <laughs> of! How he made a fool of me. Really? That doesn't sound like something Howie would do. Are you sure it didn't actually happen something like this? That didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. You okay? <laughs> Mark my words, Howie. Someday, when you least expect it, I'll be back. Oh, good. I was worried we might have lost another customer. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it happened just how I remember it. By the way, have you seen Howie today? Carl, I just remembered I'm late to go and, uh... <laughs> okay, we'll catch up later then, buddy. What have you done with Howie? No, Duck. 
Come on. Ah! Mental note. Never use silly glue on my face again. Duck, I need your help. Say no more. I will take care of this. Hi, Howie. I just gotta make sure I don't bump into... There the... you are. Oh! I've been looking all over for you. Really? Because I've in no way been desperately trying to avoid you. There's something I want to show you. Um, yeah, no thank you. Trust me, as a fellow moose, you're gonna want to see this. You are a moose, right? Of course. It's just I don't think I... Okay. Check it out. The first part of my revenge plan. Nice dummy! Thanks, but that's not all. Once I find Howie... One million pies will be shoved into his face. A million? Well, technically 999,997. The bakery wouldn't honor my coupon. And check this out. Wow! And the best part? The whole thing will be captured on video and broadcast live on Carl Extracts his revenge on Howie using a machine that shoves pies in his face and lights his undies on fire. Dot org. Dot com was taken. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Well, hey! <laughs> Narwhal, quick! I need your help! But of course! Autographs are 15 bucks, photos 20, and you can touch my horn for an even 30. No, I mean, I need. Wow, it's only $30 now? No, wait. I'm in trouble. Oh, say no more. For $50, I also do weddings and birthday parties. But I only mouth the words to happy birthday while everyone else sings. No, Narwhal, you don't understand. I am in real danger. Oh, okay. I'll play tambourine on your album for a cool thousand. Background vocals, two thousand. Hey, where'd he go? Moose? What's going on? Octo, I need your help. You can't be in here. This is me and Howie's room. It's off limits to guests. I am Howie. Oh, really? Then what are you doing on the cover of Moose on the Loose magazine, just like you said you were? Cool. And if you're Howie, then let's see your birthmark. You mean this? There's nothing there, sir. Oops. I mean this? The birthmark in the shape of you disguised as a moose presenting your birthmark! It is you! But why are you dressed up as a moose? I'm on vacation. Fair enough. And I was having so much fun, but now this Carl guy is out to get me. I need your help. What are we going to do? Don't worry, bud. I've got a plan. Is it a good plan? Only the best plan I've had since I glued these antlers to my head. Huh. Now remember, first we find Carl, convince him that you're also a moose, and then we... Hold him right there. Found him. I've been looking all over for you, moose. And who's this? Uh, this is another moose. His name is also moose. Uh, yes, that is me. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, also moose. So, did you tell him? Tell him what? About our awesome plan to destroy Howie's life? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Uh, Howie. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Oh, uh, I uh, guess I just shed my antlers. <laughs> That's a totally normal and unsuspicious thing to happen, right? Aha! Howie and Howie's friend. Howie's friend? I do have a name. Which is? Which is... <laughs> Notice how beautiful the beach is this time of year. Yeah, it's weird how running for your life really makes you appreciate the little things. <laughs> gotcha! Yikes! You don't know how long I've been waiting for this day, Howie. But Carl, you're remembering it all wrong! I remember it perfectly. You were wearing a dress. <laughs> Well, that can't be right. Actually, he might be onto something. Enough. I'm not letting you use your superior intellect to talk your way out of this one. Duh. <laughs> ah, I'm too young to pie! You're a 
recognize that whining? Howie's back! <laughs> Finally! Revenge is mine! Howie, you have work well, to do! You, 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 you need to sign off with a new spotlight, buddy, <laughs> right? Not again. <laughs> that looks like almost one, two, three, four. One million pies! <laughs> Are you okay, Carl? Stop laughing at me. Aw, oh, Carl, come back! Howie, there are things to Stop be done around here! Stop being back near you! Come on! <sighs> well, at least that's over. Quickly, I need your help. Duck, what's wrong? Shh. I am in disguise. Call me Duck. 